This is the Aussie dollar Swiss on the 60. We have a channel and on the lower time frame we have a double top as the entry at structure. Let's take a look at the dailies and figure out why I'm looking at the mark, shorting the market. Structure level on at our very lows here. First concern is that we have come into retest structure. Next we have a rally down, we have a pullback and a new structure low. If I am looking for a um, trend continuation here, we're looking for a pullback and I'm looking for the market to come and retest only. I would not be looking at shooting past this structure level, but I can play for a retest if the entry reason is good enough. Okay. Here on the 240, pretty much the same, new low, outside return, new low, outside return, new low, outside return. Here we did actually violate, but since then we've just been working our way lower. Now, as we drop down to the 60, this is what really interests me, is that we've been adhering to this channel. Now, this channel by itself is bi-directional, um, however, if it comes into structure, I'm going to put a structure level on at the closes of these candles just here. So we have a test, a test, look left, test, 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 multiple tests, a good area to look for a reaction. And if I'm playing for a retest of the lows, then this might be what I'm interested in. We do have the RSI confirmation. It is currently overbought massively at 90 look at this pin bar right here it is indecision let's drop to the 15 sorry just go back to the 60. i'm just going to go ahead here and highlight the wicks because the wicks are where we look for double tops and double bottoms one time frame lower and as you can see we have kept come into this zone once twice we do have the RSI confirmation and this time massively overbought at 90 with a huge amount of divergence. I am certainly expecting a break of this channel. Now, whether or not we get the continuation for the retest down to uh, the structure lows, I am not 100% certain. But what I've done is I put my targets um, about four or five pips above the closes of the candles. If we look at the 60, uh, exactly the same again I'm quite a bit above the closes of the candles here so I just got an ATR above the high 15 of risk for a lovely reward of 46 and we're back for the update sorry about that and um, we got the breakout let me just go to the 15 actually which is where we looked at our pattern got a beautiful break breakout here and we just had no follow through, it had no legs on it. We came down for 38.2. We came back up and then back down. Uh, because we'd had the breakout, I reduced my stop down to here. So I was out of that for 10 pips.